And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Checking in now with meteorologist Andrew Sammet in the Weather Center. Uh, you know, we got some rain in the forecast for us this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Judd, Friday is our next best chance of rain, and it will come with a risk for strong to severe thunderstorms as well. Here's the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. We have a risk for scattered severe storms for the northeastern two thirds of our area. In our far northeast corner, Cass and Marion counties, numerous severe thunderstorms will be a possibility. So Friday's a day we're going to watch closely. It does look like the greatest threat for severe weather though stays off to our north and to our east. But let's take a look at what Futurecast has going into the day on Friday. Now Thursday night we're going to be uh, cloudy with temperatures in the 60s, maybe a light shower towards daybreak. But as early as 7 o'clock in the morning, we could see some of the first showers and thunderstorms developing. Now during the morning hours, not too concerned about seeing severe weather. It's not until the afternoon though when the storms could start to strengthen and Futurecast is showing some strengthening within these storms as they move through during the early afternoon. By noon, they're stretching from Palestine up to Jacksonville, Longview, and Linden. Again, keep in mind, this is just one of the many model runs that we look at, so it may not exactly play out like this. It just gives us a good idea of the overall coverage and timing. But as we head throughout the rest of the afternoon, we'll continue to see showers and storms, and we'll have to watch areas the farther north and east you go maybe towards center and Marshall for the greater chances of seeing severe weather, which will be closer to that upper level uh, support uh, that is also needed for severe weather. And then by five o'clock, the line uh, of showers and storms clears the area and then the cold front moves in and temperatures cool down. Back to right now, though, we are seeing the temperatures in the low to mid 60s with even some upper 50s still in sulfur spring. So uh, it is a cool day overall. Temperatures are going to warm up a few more degrees from here. Uh, not by a whole lot, though, because of that north wind helping to reinforce that colder air across the area. The north wind transporting that cold air from the north and we're going to see those temperatures only climbing to the upper 60s out there for our day today with that north wind around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Now the winds turn back to the southeast starting tomorrow. That warms us at least back to average and then we start climbing above average through Thursday and Friday. Friday we peak at 82 degrees, but then that cold front moves in and knocks down the temperature for Saturday and then we'll see another warming trend by Sunday and Monday and likely a cold front at some point again next week. Until then though, even with our 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, valid between next Sunday and next Thursday. We still look to see a good chance of above average temperatures heading into the start of April. So overall a warmer weather pattern in store. We just got to get past today, which is going to be on the cooler side with those highs only in the upper 60s under partly to mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the north at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then for tonight, we'll see a few showers developing mainly in southwestern portions of our area. So from Anderson County down into deep east Texas, a few showers will be possible overnight. Otherwise, it is mostly cloudy with temperatures dropping down to the upper 40s. Winds also die down through the overnight hours. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now we are going to see occasional showers Wednesday and Thursday, but the best chance of rain is Friday. We'll also see a small chance of rain into next week, but the main story becomes the increase in heat. Highs in the mid 80s by the day on Monday with partly cloudy skies. For deep east Texas, a shower or two tonight and Wednesday. We're dry for Thursday, but then a better chance of storms on Friday. There is a lower threat for severe weather in deep east Texas on Friday, but still a chance nonetheless. So make sure to stay weather aware. And then by Monday of next week, things are really heating up with those highs in the mid 80s. Some spots could even climb into the upper 80s. 